Good morning everybody and welcome 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 back to my channel hope you are all okay I have got a full week of eating this week and I'm super excited these have got to be my favorite ones to do I just find them so easy to make for you guys and also I find it really countable I find that I really help like it helps myself but yes if you're new here my name is Hebe Hine you may know me from Instagram at Hebe Hine PT and I love to talk about everything fitness mindset and nutrition so guys I said good morning but it is actually 12 41 so I have had a very busy morning I made breakfast which was obviously the amazing oats and then I have just been making some lunch which I will add in after this clip which is like a kind of Greek paprika style chicken just in like some focaccia I found this the other day like in the shop and I was like oh nine grams of protein in them it's it's exactly the same um, brand as the flatbreads that I usually would use for gyros and they look amazing so I'm really excited to eat that but first of all I need to go and work out so I've wrapped them in tin foil. we're heading off to Nova because we've got a big event Event this this evening in Swindon so yeah let's go ahead and let's get to the gym workout done just thought i'd come and show you all of our new nova t-shirts so we've got some black ones and then we've got some gray ones which we've not had gray before but i've literally just um written up as you can see the workout for today at the designer outlet village which is exciting but yeah <laughs> yeah so we are literally just about to head to the outlet village we're going to drop some stuff off the boys coming back and then grabbing some more stuff but yeah i'm just going to like probably put my camera up prop it up so you guys can see we've never really done anything like this before so i don't know i'm not i'm not really nervous i don't know if i'm going to be nervous when we get nearer to actually doing it but it starts at five it's currently quarter to four and i'm also doing a class at six so i we've just like tested out mics and stuff haven't we that's really annoying that rattling that is rattling, is rattling me anyway we will see when we get there <laughs> oh. working properly i've just put netflix on and waiting for maddie to get home we drove separately and he had to drop something off at the gym but yeah sorry today has been a very mishmash i'm hoping you would have already seen some of the content from the event which was super fun at the swindon designer outlet village it was really really good we met some really fun people and yeah like wagamama's had their juices which was just delicious and yeah it was super fun yeah i was there filming the whole thing and yeah we really enjoyed it and then we obviously went out for a team dinner at what was that on my head? A team dinner at Pizza Express, which was lovely. I had one of those pizzas with the salad in the middle, which was yum. And then I had some dough balls to share with Lil. Lily is one of my friends from, from dancing 
from college and I haven't seen her because she's been living in Dubai so it's been really really nice to see her tonight but yeah so today was really good the only thing that I did miss out on filming which I ate was a like a Lindell's quark so like it's like a quark yogurt I had a little banoffee pie one which was really yummy and that just hit my protein goal so I hit my protein goal calories wise I'm literally just on it so I probably can have like something for like 50 calories I might have like some biscuits or something but yeah all in all I've had a really good day it was really fun and I'm excited to do it all again tomorrow so see you in the morning Mwah. good morning good morning it is freezing in here I'm like being really lazy and I don't want to make anything for breakfast so let's see I might actually just have a hot cross bun do you guys mind is that okay I'm gonna have a hot cross bun I think and then I might just have a protein shake I will just check there's nothing else no that's all like meal stuff yeah I'm thinking hot cross bun and I hope you guys don't mind because there's really not much to make with that but I'm So, plan of action for today, I'm gonna go and gym at 10 o'clock and then I'm coming back, I've got some content to edit and then me and Matt are heading into Oxford. We are going on holiday in like two weeks and we have no clothes. So we're gonna go just to Oxford, see if they've got anything. They've got a massive Primark there, trying to save money with the gym and everything. So our spending is a little bit limited and we've obviously paid for a holiday. So we are just over the moon excited i just cannot wait to be away i know that people probably look at me and be like you go away all the time but like this is like a proper time to like switch off like i'm going and it's like a beach holiday it's going to be sunny like i'm going to be on a sunbed rather than like a city break like we go on a lot of city breaks so honestly the the feeling i have inside is just absolutely buzzing so yeah that is my plan of action for today and then i'm coming back and i've got some client stuff to do i've got some check-ins to do um i'm going to be doing them a little bit later than normal but that's okay so yeah i'm excited this is the outfit for today so i've got the uh animal are they animal yeah animal adapt uh shorts and then this which is the high-waisted flex um but like the strappy flex sports bra Look how annoying oh. this is. Isn't it so annoying? Hey, that's what you get for dropping your camera on your phone. Oh, my little screen's broken. I'm upside down. So, we're at the gym. Got a little squares bar. Do you know what? I haven't had a pre-workout squares bar in a very long time. I'm having a chocolate caramel one. Caramel chocolate one. Which I actually haven't had as a pre-workout. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. And then I've got upper body. Let's go. We are ready to go shopping, aren't we? Holiday Ooh. shopping. Help. We are in Oxford. How long does that take? About 30 minutes? Right, let's go to Joe. Right, let's have a look what's in here then for holiday. Anything that I might want. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you very quickly the bits I got from 
Oxford. So we've got this little like squat thing, which I thought would be really cute. We've tried to find, Matt was being very helpful today. What did we, we try and, we tried to find a little top that had like just like a button in the middle that was like a little bit like more open, but couldn't find anything to go with that. So I am gonna have a little look on Pretty Little Thing. Then I got this little top, which was like six pounds. Can you see that? Sorry, you're, I'm upside down so I can't see fully. Which I just thought would go nice over some white shorts, but I can't seem to find my white shorts, so I might have to put them with something else. And then I just got this, uh, which you can't see, it's just a long green ribbed dress, which I just thought would be comfy if I couldn't fancy, if I didn't fancy like dressing or anything, or even maybe to the pool. Uh, and then Matt bought me some tops from Zara. Uh -huh. So this really cute bralette which i absolutely love i can't wait to wear it's got a little ruched bit at the back i'm assuming just for comfort but yeah so nice it's almost like that corset 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 yeah yeah, yeah. Corset. <laughs> corset i mean it was the right word it just uh, was said a little bit strangely but you know we'll take it a corset and then this little top which is like such a perfect like width for me like i really like a thin top i think because I'm quite short. I feel like with a top, I need it to be like, like a, a crop top needs to be really short. So I've got that as well. I have also ordered a couple of bikinis and stuff, um, but not all of them have arrived yet, so I'll show you them. Later, hopefully they'll arrive within this week so I can show you. But it is now Friday evening. I've got some work to do. I'm going to eat some snacks and I'll show you in a sec. I'm going to put breaking bad on, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Have you finished work completely for the day? I've got a call to do, but other than that. Oh, he's got a call at half five, yeah. was it? Okay, should we put Breaking Bad on now? If you want. Very quickly, here are the snacks. So we've got these Nestle Lindholz uh, products. This is the protein pudding, and then this is the Lemon Cheesecake Pro, like, quark which they call kvarg i'm assuming that that is a swedish the swedish way to say quark but they're just so good this is 14 grams of protein this is 18 grams of protein um and they're just so easy to get your protein in really i that i mean you just can't complain and then i've also got some of these which are my favorite i'm going to portion them out though obviously i have had two out the bag uh, my scales are behind you so i'm going to portion those out as a little snack but yeah, that's what i'm eating spelling and shit right. they got um, we ended up getting something naughty. It's not that naughty. <laughs> no, it's not that naughty. So, it's still probably like 800 calories. But. So, this is from Frank and Benny's, and obviously, as you all know, the calories are now on the menus and everything. Now, for those that find it triggering, I don't really think it's very appropriate. I don't think that the calories should be slap bang on the front of the menu as you walk in i do think that there should be the option for those to um look at the menu and look at the calories if they wish as i do think that that's also very very important i think that there is a massive like obesity like epidemic at the moment so i completely think that calories should be a, like available but being on the menu i'm just not quite sure that being said, we're obviously tracking at the moment, so this change coming in has been massively beneficial for us to um, allow ourselves to be a little bit more free with food, isn't it, really? So in, in our case, because we deal well with tracking calories, this has been really, really good. So one thing that we found out was that Frankie Benny's spaghetti bolognese is only 500 and like 50 calories or something, which for a pasta dish is pretty good, especially from a takeaway restaurant. And then we've got a little garlic bread to share. I will only be having a slice or so of that just because calories wise I haven't got masses left but I just want to go through my calories just so you guys can see so prior to this I have eaten 700 nope sorry 1,002 calories. My protein is lower than it needs to be. It's currently at 67 grams and my carbohydrates 115 grams and my fat is at 29 grams. <laughs> Yum! Oh my god, this looks so good. I feel like I need some parmesan on it, but...
this is our lunch prep for today. I haven't actually eaten breakfast yet, guys. I'm literally in such a rush. We got up at 10 a.m., which is so unlike me. I literally slept the whole morning. So I've got these to snack on at the gym. And then I've got these also, which I'm going to bring some mini Oreos to crush in and just make them a really nice little snack. But yeah, that's what we got. We are getting holiday prep ready, you guys. It is time to go to the gym. This is my current outfit for today. I think I've probably already worn this, but you know, comfort is goals. This is all the new Gymshark stuff that I'm gonna go through a little bit later or tomorrow with you at some point. Guys, I don't know if you can feel, but I'm being hectic. Hello. Hey, look at this naughty draw. <laughs> These are the best. They are. Yeah, you'll get them for free. Oh, perfect, thank you. Yeah. Duck spring rolls, the chicken gyozas, the golden pastry bags, please. That's the dog. The chicken sandy skewers, the cyan Thai crackers. Is that the same thing? Thank you. Wow. my uh pre-bath look but pre-bath post-bath definitely post-bath i almost forgot to show you some of the new gym gym shot pieces that i promised you i would show you so i have got some of them packed in my suitcase so i can't show you all of them because i am taking them but i will get you to add some pictures of me in the new collection so this is the power collection and these are the sports bras which are literally so cute so that is the turquoise and then comes in a black oh, comes in the black and then comes in the burgundy now this has also come with like a cropped hoodie i don't know if you can fully see that but guys these cropped hoodies are so cute this is obviously the burgundy color and it comes in black i've got both and i'm literally obsessed i'm so glad that they've bought them out because they're just unbelievable so 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 cute and then for the bottoms i've got one of the pairs of leggings here so the shorts and the leggings are very similar the shorts are definitely like short short they're not cycle short length um but these are the turquoise leggings and as you can see they've got like a really 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 thick band at the top which is super cute and then at the back they've got obviously like the scrunch bum and all of that kind of stuff but they are quite tight so that's the only thing i would say like they really hook you in the middle which is like good but also not great like it's almost a little bit too much sometimes so i would definitely be careful with like the sizes that you're choosing for me i have got an extra small and i think i could also easily fit into a small but they are really really comfy regardless really really nice i feel like they really make you feel like you've got quite a flat stomach like i know that that's like not what everyone wants but that is super good from that and then obviously the sports bras they're just a really nice shape they're just a little bit different and then the back is obviously the mesh here so i would really 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 recommend getting them because they are really nice the power collection last year wasn't one of my favorites and this year they've absolutely smashed it so well done gymshark you have Good morning everyone it is sunday i'm actually filming another youtube video uh today so i've got a little bit of awkward like a crossover so i can't remember if i said hi to you i don't think i have this morning but i'm just going to show you what i've been doing so i've literally just been planning my week oh is my mum ringing me sorry about that so i've just prepped um what i'm eating for this week and then my shopping list which is just really easy to organize and i'm gonna go and do a really quick food shop and then i'm gonna come back and make probably like some kind of bacon egg sausage sandwich because it's sunday why not and then i'm gonna hopefully make a healthy rice later which i'm excited to show you guys i don't know if i've shown you guys how i do it before it's really simple really easy i literally use frozen veg i just make it quick and simple so yeah i'm really looking forward to having that and the weather is gorgeous outside so we're definitely going to go for a walk um but yeah i love a sunday sunday literally is the best day of the week i love it might want to shove them in there Thank you. 
one. Yeah. Okay, so it is a little bit later in the day. It's definitely the afternoon, but we're gonna make some very late breakfast, so brunch, I suppose. We're gonna have um, like a bacon egg rocket focaccia sandwich. Um, I am actually making a roast dinner, so I'm only gonna have half of this because I just won't be able to eat the roast. Um, and I wanna have enough space in my stomach for the roast because it's my favorite. So I'm gonna make this now. These are just gonna go straight into the oven um, just to like toast a little bit. And then obviously I'm just going to fry the eggs and the bacon together. I feel like if like sport and like this is like a proper Sunday. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so it's time to prep the chicken. So as you can see, I have got about four chicken breasts in there and I've literally flattened them just with a rolling pin and then popped them into some water. Um, what I'm now gonna do is pop them onto this plate, just pop some uh, like spray oil, uh, some seasoning of, where is it? This, like the mixed herbs, and then some salt and pepper. Uh, and then I'm literally gonna lightly fry it off on either side and then pop it into the oven. It tends to go into the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but as you can see, as I said, I've made a lot. This is for, yeah, some of that will be for tomorrow for the roast, but also for lunch, I'm gonna have a chicken Caesar salad. Matt is having the chili con carne that's being made upstairs. So yeah, let's do this now. Lightly fry it off and then into the oven. <laughs> So now I've got lots of leftover chicken for tomorrow and then everything else I will make fresh tomorrow evening for the roast and that's gonna be with my salad as well for tomorrow lunchtime. The final thing for today is a little bedtime snack. I'm just gonna have these little uh, Fox's party ring minis. These are 83 calories per bag. I have just fake tanned, which might look a little bit patchy because I use a spray on my face, which then isn't as dark uh, until the morning. So I'm gonna go and have these. We're still watching our program. It is beautiful outside today. It's literally like a blue sky. I'm gonna show you outside, but there's someone literally getting out of the car next to me and I'm feeling anxious. Okay, that is blue sky. <laughs> In front of me is blue sky, to the side of me is clouds, but you know, we can, we can work with that. Yeah, I'm up, I'm ready, I'm gonna go gym. And one thing that I just wanted to say, so I did just like go down and write out everything that I'm grateful for and write a couple of affirmations in my diary and everything like that. But I really, really, really struggle to focus at this time in the morning. Um, I find that firstly, I'm a little bit tired. Secondly, I feel like I've got to get to the gym for a certain time. Like I feel like I'm in a rush to do this. And I really, really don't like that feeling. Um, obviously I take Yayan with me every time to film. Uh, and obviously I tell him roughly what time we're gonna leave. So I feel like because I'm in that rush and I know that I've got to go potentially I don't give myself enough time when I get up but I find that doing it this way around I always find it a little bit more difficult so when like for quite a long stretch of last year I actually started doing my manifesting and meditating after my workouts and I think I'm gonna try that again now um, I feel like I'm in a really healthy routine with my workouts so yeah just having that that makes it a little bit more I don't know consistent and a time that I enjoy and a time that I really can focus and really make the most of that time um, and also I feel like I come out of the gym in a really good mood and I find that that's a really good space to be meditating and manifesting in you, you high vibe feeling good so yeah I might try that I mean today obviously I've already done it um, but I also like doing it in the evening I like doing a little bit in the evening I feel like I go to bed on a high on a high note as well but anyway it's 7 40 I really must go let's go pick up the iron and head to the gym I've got legs what else could I have more than my mojito protein shake? Let's go. I can't see a way out. I've been stuck in face down off canvas I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been
I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. Swag almost gave it. All this shit I'm laying in, it's only the foundation. I've been going crazy. So I'm just having these delicious baked oats and they have got a cream egg in the middle and a cream egg on top, just like the mini ones and I cannot wait to eat this. It's literally like having cake for breakfast and I've just filmed the recipe for Instagram so it should be on there very, very soon. Okay, it's lunch time. I'm going to make a chicken, as I said last night, a chicken bacon Caesar salad, which I'm very excited for. So I've literally just chopped up two bacon um, rashers and I'm literally just frying that off very quickly now. That will not take long. So I'm just gonna start prepping everything. I cooked my chicken yesterday, which is amazing. This all goes up here. When your laptop charges at the gym and you have to do meetings on your phone, time for a snack. Happy hippo. I'm gonna open them and enjoy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's basically the same thing. You what? What? It'll get copyrighted because I'm so close to the original. Shut up. Everyone, my meeting's not just with Matthew. Okay, so it's dinner time. I'm literally gonna put this stock cube into some water, literally mix it all together, and then I'm gonna pop it literally on the chicken, and we're gonna put it into the oven. So in the oven, I currently have the roast potatoes and the stuffing. Um, the stuffing is obviously fresh, I didn't reheat that. And then I have got some Yorkshires, these literally take five minutes, and then some frozen peas, which I will be making in a little bit. Get me into bed now. Good morning. I've actually already been to the gym this morning, but it was an early one. Um, I left at seven and I've literally just got home with a coffee because Matt wanted one. So this is a nice little, a nice little almond latte. Um, but we're gonna quickly have some breakfast. So we've got a busy day today. Um, so I'm going to have, let's have a little look. These reduced fat quests. Can you see that? Reduced fat croissants. Uh, I'm going to pop some biscoff in there and then I'm also going to make a side bowl of yogurt and strawberries and I'm probably going to add a little bit of protein powder to the yogurt just to increase the protein intake. Um, not really for me but more for Matt. Yeah, just with some strawberries on the side. I might add some flavour drops as well because that always makes it taste a little bit sweeter. But yeah, and really simple, quick, easy breakfast.
breakfast is served. So the chili con carne came in very handy. This is what I'm having for lunch. It is actually half three, so I'm a little bit late, but I've not really had much to do today, guys. I'm just chilling, um, just doing some kind of, hang on, I'm gonna turn the camera to me. Sorry about that, am I focused? Oh God. So yeah, sorry, I have literally just been, not chilling, I've been working, but a lot of like admin stuff, editing videos, uploads, charging my phone, 24 7 um but yeah i'm just gonna have some lunch and again kind of carry on editing some stuff we are potentially in the process of moving so we've had to look at a couple of bits of like paperwork and stuff um nothing's been confirmed just yet but yeah let's eat this because i'm starving oh my god guys i've literally just got this parcel i literally went to my mum and dad's to pick up some parcels so they've also got some pretty little things going for my holiday right but look of this that I've just got from my agent. This is, I don't even know what this is, but it is honestly so heavy. Like, it's really heavy. And then this, which I will cut open in a minute, is one of these, like a golden ball. Ah! It's actually also like golden. The color is golden. <gasps> oh my goodness. Let's have a little look. Okay, we've got a knife. My hands actually smell of chocolate. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! Look how amazing that is. This is breakfast this morning. Simple toasted waffles, just some bacon, and then obviously maple syrup because what else would you have? Guys, it's 4 p.m. It is 4 p.m. And I've literally eaten that breakfast and I didn't even finish it. And then I've just had a very half-hearted sandwich. I have got a water infection, so like a UTI. I've literally just been to get my prescription. It took ages. I didn't even realize you could order it online. So I ordered it online and then uh, went to go and collect it today, which was super handy because obviously we're going away and I was thinking, oh, am I gonna even get an appointment? So that is so handy, but I don't know what it is. I just don't feel hungry. Like I feel a bit nauseous. I had a chicken, <laughs> looks awful. I had a chicken and bacon sandwich. Again, didn't eat all of it from literally the place next door. And then tonight I'm going to make a cheeseburger like a salad plate. I've just actually got some mints. And I'll probably make two portions of it so I can have it tomorrow as well. But other than that, I'm, I'm sorry. Today's been really, really lazy. Like I'm, I've been sorting out tax all day. You can see all the paperwork in front of me and obviously hop to um, the pharmacy to get my stuff. But I've got a podcast in an hour. So I really need to get ready because I look awful. My hair is greasy, but you know, I just don't fill up to kind of get them ready. I feel like I've got a bit of a headache as well. I just don't feel 100%, but hopefully with the antibiotics, I'll be feeling a little bit better soon. Okay, I'm super hungry now, so it's time to make some dinner. I do feel all right. I've just done a podcast with Brittany Lutton from Instagram, and it was just amazing. It was so refreshing. And just talking to someone about like similar things, like gym girl chats, it was just so good. So I feel like I'm in such a good mood. So I'm now just gonna cut my onion and make my cheeseburger salad bowl. It's so easy to make. It's literally so quick. It's mince, onion, some seasoning, and then salad bowl. And it's delicious, so let's go. That is looking so cute. And I think the best bit is that there is literally gooey cheese underneath. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh, I can't wait to eat this.